simplify 81 power 3 by 4. Can you solve it? Uh, no, I don't, I don't know how. Okay, I tell you. Now here, 81. Can we write 81 as the power of 3? 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 3 is 81. So, 3 power 4 is 81. Right? Hmm. Now, we know that 81 is written. Can we replace it by 3 power 4? Whole power 3 by 4? Correct? Yes. So, we yes. have the formula or the rule of indices. That one is A power M whole power N means A power M times N. Correct? So, got it? We are going to use it. Now, 3 power 4 times 3 by 4. So, this 4 will cancel and we are getting here 3 power 3 and the answer is 27. Did you get it? Yes. All right. Now, I solve another question. So, you may apply these rules and laws. First of all, you may remember the law a power m times a power n equals a power m plus n. And a power m divided by a power n equals a power m minus n. Means the bases are same, but the powers are different. Or it could be same as well. But when the bases are multiplied, same bases are multiplied, so we shall add their powers. But when the bases are same, but they are dividing each other, so then we subtract the powers. So here the question is, x power 2 by 3 divided by x power negative 4 by 3. So what should we do? Are we using this one or second one? Second one. Second one. So here, A is equal to X, M is equal to 2 by 3, and N is equal to negative 4 by 3. It's okay. Now, we apply these all in it. We have already there, this left side we have already, we have to convert it into the right side. So here it becomes X power 2 by 3 minus negative 4 by 3. You know this negative time negative will be positive. So it will be x power 2 by 3 plus 4 by 3. As you know this the, the addition of fractions when bases are same. So you write here 3 only and above you will be adding the numerator. So 4 plus 2 is 6. Now you know we if we simplify this fraction, it becomes 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. x power 2 is the answer. Easy? Yes. You can take the screenshot of these two questions so that you may solve the next one on your own. Okay, I got it. Okay. Now you have this question C. You can use a, use the laws of indices. You know, 8 is divided by y power 6. First of all, we apply, we solve the bracket first. You know the bit mass rule? So first we solve the bracket. We take, without that one, we can uh, apply the formula a power m n is equal to a power m times n. Okay. This becomes, you are applying this 1 by 3, negative 1 by 3 with each element power here. So here 8 power negative 1 by 3 divided by y power 6 times negative 1 by 3. Or we do another way. Make this easy. Make it easy. Okay. You must also remember one of the uh, law. This is a power negative m is equal to 1 upon a power m. This is also another law for indices. And if you have 1 upon a power negative m, it becomes 
A power M means it this denominator will go up in the numerator and its power will become positive. It's okay. Now, you know this is negative 1 by 3. <coughs> we can make it positive 1 by 3 when we write here y power 6 upon 8 whole power 1 by 3. So now, you see negative is changed into positive because we flipped the fraction. Do you hmm. get this point? Yes. Now, we apply this 1 by 3 with all of them. So we can write here y power 6, 1 by 3 upon 8 power 1 by 3 because 1 by 3 is applied on each of the element. Now, y power 6 times 1 by 3 upon, we know that 8 is equal to 2 power 3. Right? Can we write that way? Because yes. 8 is equal to 2 power 3. So we can write in the place of 8, we can write 2 power 3. So it becomes 2 and this becomes square. The answer is y power 2 over 2. This is your answer. Or we can rewrite in a way 1 by 2 y power 2. This is your answer. It's okay. Take a screenshot okay. you. Any question till now? Understand. Good. Now we move ahead for the next two questions. Do these. Should I multiply 2 by 1 and 2 by 16? Or First of all, check now. Is the 16, uh, can we write this 16 the power of 2s? Should I tell you now? Yes. Four. Yes. 4 by 4. So now you take this 2 power 4 up there and then you will get the same basis. I think I should do this one right now. See here, you can write this one, 2 power r is equal to 1 upon 2 power 4, right? Because 2 power 4 is equal to 16. So we replace 16 with 2 power 4. And I, as I told you that, if you take uh, a power negative m is equal to 1 upon a power m, so if you have a power, uh, 1 upon a power m, you can write this one as well, right? So we take this 2 power r is equal to 2 power negative 4, okay? So when two, two numbers are equal and their bases are same, so what we write? We write their powers are also equal. So here answer r is equal to 4. Easy? Kind of, yes. Kind of. So you just revise it, write on again on your notebook and then try it question B part. I give you a hint that three, fifth power root of three is equal to, you can rewrite this, three power t equals three power one upon five. Now you do it. What's an answer? One upon five. T is equal to one upon five. Easy? Why, why one upon five? See, five is here now. This is given. If nothing is written here, this means three power one by two. Because this is called principal square root. So only two is written. We consider that is two here. So if it is three, so we can write three power one by three. If it is, this is called cube root. And if it is four, so we write here three power 1 by 4. This is called 4th root of 3. So here if it is 5, it means 5th root of 3 means 3 power 1 by 5. Understood? Yes. Okay, good. We can do a head fund question number. These questions you do on your own. I know you can do it now. Is it okay? Mm, 5 power 3, well done. 5 power 2, and you can write in the afterwards, 5 power 2 is equal to 25. 25. Perfect. Good one. Easy now? You get confident now. No question. Next. B part.
Is it okay? Three by one. Very nice. First of all, you flip the uh, fraction. Very good. Mashallah. Hafsa, you grasp the concept very quick with one single example. Well done. Well done. You can do next question. Is it the answer can you check or should I uh, simplify it further? You need to simplify further because three by four oh. is not only on X power, it's upon this as well, 16. So I think you should redo it. Apply three by four on 16 as well as X power 16. Okay, do it again. Very good. 2 power 3 times x power 12 because, yeah. Right, well done. Can you can you explain this? How do you get this now? Uh, I uh, put the 3 over 4 on 16 and x. Uh, so for 16, I uh, broke it down to 2 over 4. Uh, mm -hmm. So for 2 over 4, 4 multiplied by 3 over 4 is 2 to the power of 3 and X, multi, uh, x 16 multiplied by 3 over 4 is 12. So 2 power 3 multiplied by x to the power of 12. Very good. And we can rewrite it as 8 x power 12 as well. Perfect. Well done. Now question B. Now we know 2 times p power 3 by 2 is equal to 54. Okay. We This 2 multiplying with p we take to the other side we get here. P power 3 by 2 is equal to 54 by 2. So what we get here, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, so here we have P power 3 by 2 equals 54 by 2 is 27. So 27, if we write here, P is equal to 3 by 2. Easy way I'm telling you now. Before that, it was difficult a little. 27 power 2 by 3 and times 2 by 3. What did I do? You know, there is a rule of equation. Whatever you do on the left-hand side, you do the same on right-hand side. So I multiplied this 27 power 1, it was like, with 2 by 3 and here also 2 by 3. These two are cancelled. So we are left with P is equal to 27 power 2 by 3. Or we can write here 3 square. 3 power 3 is 27. 
right? So times two by three, it's gone. So you are left with three square means nine. So P is equal to nine. That's a little critical question. You got it or you want me to repeat? Sorry, again? I understand. Understood. Well done. That's nice to have a student like Hafsa who understands well. Mashallah. Okay. So now you complete this. Can you do it now? Yes. Is it okay or should I, can it be in simplified mode? You don't have to simplify it more. That's perfect. Because no need to make the powers in the negative ones. Okay, so 2 upon a power 4 is your answer. Perfect, correct. Now next. I'm done with the A and B. Okay, you did this T power. Very good. This is right. X power 5 whole power 2 is multiplied. Very good. This is easy, right? Now C part. Is it okay? Oh, wait, no. Uh, wait. 81, wrong. right? Let me check this. I did something wrong. Let me redo it. Yeah, yeah. Three power four is 81. No, no. I think I'm redoing it because I something think I wrong, something right? Wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Good.
Well done. So we write three power three in the form of the whole number. It's going to be 27 m power six. So no need to write multiplication sign here. When you are writing coefficient, exactly we can write like this. They have not written a multiplication sign in between. So we can write 27 m power six. That's it. Easy and good question. Now we can complete these question seven. So you're able to do the questions of indices if they come in your board examinations, right? These are the all questions from the taken from the board examinations papers. Yeah, okay, let me check that. 36 power. Good. 16. This is 8. Well done. We can go to the next question, 8. Is it okay, teacher? I'm checking it now. What did you do here? Yeah, one by two power one by... No, it's not that correct here. See, <laughs> two power three, you didn't write. One upon two power three. X power two by three times three. So you always leave the constant or the coefficient here when you are applying or the brackets. Oh, opening the bracket with the powers. So here it should be two as well. So two, this should be three as well. Okay, like just you did this way here and this one here. So now it becomes one by two power three times x power six by three means two. So it's going to be one upon eight. Got it now? Oh, okay. 